Now let's look at one last question on the topic of entropy before we move on to the concept of availability, available energy and irreversibility. So the question says a 50 kg block of iron casting at 500 Kelvin is thrown into a large lake at a temperature of 285 Kelvin. After the iron block reaches equilibrium with the lake water determine there are three parts to it. The first is the entropy change of the iron block, second the entropy change of the lake water and the third is the total entropy change of the process. Uh, we need to assume the average, uh, you can say the specific heat capacity of iron as 0.45 kilojoule per kg Kelvin. So let's start by writing down the given data. That's the very first step you should always do. So the mass of the iron block this is 50 kg okay the temperature of the iron block is 500 kelvin and the temperature of lake is 285 kelvin okay so the very first thing is to find out the delta s for iron okay so we can assume that this is T1 and this is T2 with respect to iron because you know uh, ultimately this is reaching the equilibrium. So the iron and lake they have no delta T so there is no heat flow at, at the you know, equilibrium but uh, you know let us find out delta S for iron delta S for iron that is equal to M into CAV into natural log of T2 by T1. Now how did we get over here? See, this is nothing but or you can say Q upon T. Is it right? Now what is Q? Q is MC DT. So if you integrate this, you get MC log T2 by T1. So let's continue with the Calculation. So this becomes iron. This is 50 into 0.45 okay, into log 285 by 500. Okay, so it will be a negative quantity because iron is as it is losing heat, so the entropy would go down. So it will be a negative value. So this will be equal to minus 12.65 kilojoule per Kelvin. Okay, the second part of the question is what is the entropy change for lake water? Okay, so for lake water, uh, you can say the amount of heat lost by iron is equal to the amount of heat gained by lake water. So I can still use dq by t. So this would give you, uh, first of all, let's find out dq. Okay. So, Q lake is equal to M into CAV into T iron minus T lake. So, that is the amount of heat lost by the you know, iron block 50 into 0.45 into 500 minus 285. So the answer of the heat gained by the lake water would be around 4837.5 kilojoules. Okay. So when you put this over here, so this would become Q lake upon T lake. Okay. So this would be this is the heat gained by the lake water, so it will be positive. T, T lake is 285. So this comes about to be plus 16.97 kilojoule per Kelvin. So you have two values. The first value is the delta S for iron and now you have delta S for lake water. The total entropy change would be the sum of these two things. So I can write down that the total entropy change 
is equal to delta S iron plus delta S lake. So, this becomes minus 12.65 plus 16.97 which gives rise to plus 4.32 kilojoule per Kelvin. So, this is how we attempt a question like this very very simple to understand. So, I hope by now you have understood the entire section of second law and a very important section of entropy. Now, let us take this discussion you know a bit further and start discussing about the availability and irreversibility in a process.